Um, well, Russ, you said on Tuesday... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to do my zip up. Two seconds, I'm freezing. <laughs> well, um, can't do it, I'm under pressure. Go on, let's do it. I'll, I'll work it out as we go. Um, uh, well, Russ, you said on Tuesday that you were delighted with the, with the performance but just needed a few more goals. Well, that, that box has been ticked today. Yeah, it has, yeah. Um, I'm really proud of our team today, actually. It's, um, it's not easy towards the end of the season, playing against the team who are fighting for their, for their status in the league. Um, and it's um, I th what, what, I, what I really liked about today was the, they were ruthless. Um, they were really clinical. I think we should actually not as clinical as we could have been because there were still more goals for us there. But um, what I really liked was the intensity all throughout the whole game, even in the 90th minute, the way they're willing to press for each other, to fight for each other. Um, the amount of people willing to run in behind and give themselves up for the team and, and if, if they don't receive it to give other people space. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of that performance and uh, we, we're all proud of them for that So, um, and they should be proud of themselves and uh, I think um, I don't think it's an unfair scoreline really. I think they had one really good chance uh, which we, we shouldn't have allowed to happen but I think I don't think they had a shot on target. So um, a really outstanding performance and um, yeah, hopefully a sign of, of where, where the guys are going, where they're getting to, the level they can hit. Um, and, the, and the challenge for them will be to produce that consistently. <laughs> they played it in a dressing room. He hates it, Griggy, but he deserved it. I think Ethan Laird's his number one fan. So, um, but yeah, I'm so pleased for him. We sp I mean, I couldn't have praised him enough, I don't think, over the last few weeks. We know how important he is to us. Um, we know how important he's been to us. And today he got the goals he's, he's deserved. And I think, you know, he's took every single one. And also he's been getting... He's playing a, in, a, in a way that... Um, I don't think he's ever been asked to press as hard as he has done in this team. Um, the willingness he's shown, he's the, and I've said all this before, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it's true, and um, he deserves goals today because he doesn't have any ego. He's so humble, puts himself, you know, puts the team ahead of himself, and um, the, boy, the players and the staff, or everyone, are really happy for him. And Griggy will just carry on doing what he does. He's not bothered at all, and he'll continue to, to work hard, and hopefully he'll score a few more between now and the end of the season. And what about next season? Is I mean, he keeps knocking these goals in. Is there a chance he could be here next season? Oh, I, I said months ago that we'd like to keep him. I said months ago he fits in brilliantly to what we're doing. But he has a, he's, he is owned by another club that we have to respect and he's got another year in his contract. And that club is also in a position where they, they potentially could be in this league or they could be in the league above. So um, there's a lot of things that can happen and can change. But yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be right in the mix to try and keep him. But I can't give you an answer now. It's so early. Um, they've still got a lot to be decided in their season. Yes, I'm still doing my zip. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, and did you expect it to be, I was going to say easy, but in that first half an hour, I mean, they barely touched the ball. Did you expect a bit more or was that you playing so well? Um, no, I think, I think, you know, speaking to a couple of their players now as well, and I think we're really tough to play against when we, we show up with that energy and that intensity from the very, very beginning of the game. Um, I wasn't very happy with the second, the last 15 minutes of the first half, and and we told the players that it got a little bit messy, and they they started to, they showed what they are capable of, and let's get it right, you know, they are, they are down there, but they're still still showing fight. They had a brilliant result um, last week, so um, no game's ever easy at this level. We have to really fight and work hard to to get anything. So to say it was an easy game, I think would be not giving our players enough credit. I think they made it that way and um, they kept on and on and on and, and the way they came out in the second half made sure it, it became an enjoyable afternoon for them. Thank you. No problem. It's about as comprehensive a performance as we've seen from your side all season, isn't it really? Yeah, and um, I think we've, we've threatened that a few times. Um, but yeah, it was, it was brilliant. You know, we, we're so proud of them and uh, that's, what, that's what we want to see from our team. So, <laughs> well done you. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just really pleased. I'm really pleased for them. They deserve it, and, and uh, they deserve to finish finish the season this way because it's been it's been a really tough journey for a, for a lot of us, for all of us. So um, yeah, it's uh, just trying to build momentum now for, for next year and make the players realise what they're what they're capable of. You might hate the attention of the song, but it's a record as well in the sense that he's got four goals for a, uh, in, in a game that no MK Dons player has done before. How much is that going to mean to Will Griggs? Oh, yeah, I hope it means a lot. I hope the way he's been treated means a lot. I hope the respect we all have for him. I'm sure it does. I think he's really enjoyed being here, um, being back here. And, you know, it's not... I don't think anyone can say it's an unsuccessful for Lowe and he's got the, 
He's the scorer of the, the British record for passes before a goal, and now he's got that that nice uh, accolade. And I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he's quite high up in MK Don's all-time score, and we'll be able to tell you. But um, yeah, it's no surprise. He works so hard. He's a great professional. He's in great shape, and he's just getting stronger and stronger physically, which means obviously he's able to produce days like today. Um, we've seen plenty of times your side dominate in those first half hour and, and not you know, get the goals that they deserve. That was not the case today. It was. It was well, the game is yeah, we, are, we asked them to be clinical and we asked them to be ruthless. I think we've shown them in the last couple of games especially how many chances we have had and then they're really disappointed when they watch it back. Um, but I think it's just a case of them guys, I said to you, they're living it for the first time. A lot of them, you know, for the first season, Ethan has been a right back, Matty the same. Um, Scotty's been in the box more than he ever has done, I think. So, um, yeah, just experience. The more time they spend in there, the, the more accustomed they're going to be to it, the more comfortable they're going to be with it. And hopefully you end up with, with more performances and the, the, the amount of chances we create today and the amount of chances. You know, Andy Sermon came off, the first thing he said was he's furious that he didn't score. So, um, and he deserved one today. I thought, he's, I thought he's outstanding. So, yeah, just a brilliant effort. And um, hopefully, as I said, they'll all keep getting better and better, and especially in those moments, which is the hardest part of the game, is getting there and making sure you make the right decision and are able to execute it. And I imagine Will Brig will probably pick up most of the votes for Man of the Match, but there were some contenders out there. Soranola was fantastic. Scott Fraser as well with, with his first half penalty. Yeah, I think Scotty was um, incredible in and out of possession. Really, really top. Matty. Matty was brilliant in the second half, the way he responded. Ethan, you know, we can go through all of them, can't we? Dean Lewington again. Zach Jules, I thought, by the end of the game was outstanding. Fisher and Aquaman. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We'll, have, we'll, we'll accuse Fisher of that. But, even, but then the detail, you know, with with Fish when he does get it it's a big big responsibility on him and the details and the decisions he makes are, um, are fantastic so uh, yeah it was just you know Jordan Houghton when he come on was great I thought really really good Charlie Brown was good and sh maybe should have had a goal he was unfortunate not to so um, we need everyone it's about the squad you know it's about everyone being aligned and fighting for the same purpose um, treating each other properly with respect and then and then respecting the process and they all do that they really believe in it and that's why at half time we, we went in a little bit disappointed with how the game had, had gone for the last previous 15 minutes because we're not purely focused on, on the result or don't get emotional about that. We get emotional about some of the goals we score, about some of the performances, about seeing how hard they're willing to run but um, yeah, we're quite, as, as I said all the way along, we're process driven and, and today is a big step and a big part of that. When you set yourself a target a few weeks ago of, of how strongly you wanted to finish you can't kind have of really asked for much more than, than three wins out of three. Yeah, the, I mean, the targets they set themselves are extremely high, really high. I think a couple of people weren't happy with some of the boys going in so high, but um, they're well on their way to doing that, and I love that. They've set their sights really high. I think they really, I think you can see how much they believe in each other, how much they believe in what we're doing, and uh, yeah, we'll never take that for granted. They're so grateful for that. So I hope they can um, hit, the, hit, hit what they want to between now and in the season, and I hope. You know, people are starting to, to really um, enjoy watching watching our team. And the last three games, three clean sheets have been really important for us. And uh, now to add it with, with a number of goals as well today is, is really brilliant. Russ, you said that uh, you wanted your players to be ruthless in, in how they go about trying to score. Even when you were 5-0 up, you still had three chances to score. Your players were still really going for it. That must have been really pleasing for you. Yeah, I don't think they wanted the game to end some of them. I think you could see... You know, people were shouting at each other to keep the intensity, to keep the ball speed high, um, to remain really driven and not to get lazy. It's really easy in them games to get bored and to try things that you wouldn't usually. You know, I think Harry, is, had a, him and Dean and Zach took a lot of responsibility today, a lot of discipline. I think discipline is the word. They played really disciplined football in the second half, but with real purpose, with real intensity. And um, that's why we kept creating chances. And I love the fact they didn't come off. Uh, the accelerate at all at any point and that's what you know if you're going to be a really good team performing and competing at the right end of the table at some point that's what that's the mentality you need to have so I was really pleased with that. Uh, you're up to ninth now in the table finished last season in 19th before this season started could you have imagined reaching this sort of level so quickly? Um, I think you always have hopes and you you aspire to, to be somewhere there or thereabouts but um I think come the end of the season, we'll probably be a little bit frustrated at some of the games and performances that we haven't quite got points from or results, um, which is why we find ourselves where we are. It's been such a big year for learning for myself, for the rest of the group, for the staff. It's been a huge year for improvement, um, and we've improved a lot. And I think it's, what's been really difficult is we haven't had people in the stadium. Early on, we weren't getting the results. You know, we were the performances probably warranted. 
and then you get questioned a lot. You know, I got questioned a lot. I had to question myself a lot. We have to question. We question ourselves a lot as a group of staff, the players. But they've been steadfast in their belief. They've been staunch in, in their belief and trust in the process and what they're doing. As have the supporters. I'm sure there are a few who weren't quite convinced, and there probably will be some now. But um, the majority have been unbelievable with us in terms of their backing and belief in us. I can't wait to have them back next year. I think it'll make a big difference to us. And next year again, we'll. I'm not going to from day one. I'm not going to come in and say we're going to do this and that. It's about improving again. So. The guys are making that, you know, t that it look even tougher now. That the more points we get on the board, that the higher we finish, we're going to have to try and improve on that, and that's what it's about: continuous improvement. And um, if we finish higher up this year, it makes it tougher next year. But that's the challenge, and that's what we all want to do. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Russ, you said that there were bits in towards the end of the first half that you were a bit unsure about. Was it pleasing, therefore, to get a third goal right at the end of the first half? Yeah, the yeah. Game? I think it was really important, actually. At two 0 it's a different, it's a different game going in. Um, I thought we actually looked really threatening at set pieces today, which was good. Um, we scored from one. Ethan had a great uh, chance from one. We had a really good save from the goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, it was an important goal for us. It was an important goal and probably took the edge off a little bit of how we were feeling. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was making sure the players understood how good they'd been, but then to make sure that they remain all the stuff that made the performance look good, that got them two goals, that made the Swindon have to defend a lot. Um, they had to keep that going. You can't. It's, it's not easy. Unfortunately, it's not easy if you're going to play this way and, and, and be that team. Um, and I think they understood that at half time. And second half, as you as you saw, the way they came out was was outstanding. So yeah, really pleased. Yeah, if I ask, did that uh, moment where you said help relax? Did that feed into the start of the second half with two goals in the first? Four yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I hope, hopefully the chat we all had, uh, the team had with with myself and Luke. Um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, it has it has an uh, has an uh, effect at some level. But um, yeah, it's down to them. It was down to we can say all we want, but it's down to them to really show the mentality that we asked for, and they did that. So yeah, I think um, incredible the way they start the second half, really, because still a dangerous scoreline for a team that are fighting hard, and just took the took the wind out of their sails, I think. And after that, I think the guys really enjoyed themselves, and so did we watching. Three wins in the week as well, so that's definitely a sign that the process towards building for next season is going yeah yeah three wins three clean sheets more importantly um, no shots on target today um, I think we had one shot on target the other night so yeah we, we're, we're heading I feel like we're heading in the right direction we've come a long way from the team at the start of the season so much change but um, yeah it's, it's really positive we all feel really positive about it but we also are aware and we understand how much work there is to do still you know we're, we're nowhere near um the finished article some of the players are going to get better and better hopefully they keep learning and, and keep gaining experience and um, yeah one day I'll get this sip done up I think <laughs> cheers guys <laughs>